Hey y'all, what's going on? It is almost Friday. Almost. We got one more day left before Friday. So, just jumping on really quickly to um, share something with y'all. <laughs> we, we, I'm talking about me too. We need to stop talking ourselves out of things. We need to tune ourselves out and stop talking ourselves out of things because God tells us so many things that we need to be doing, um, a certain direction that we need to be moving. And out of fear, we talk ourselves out of that. Um, we tend to um, live for a moment or wait for a moment, but we don't realize that we already have the moment. God equipped us with everything that we need to experience moments. We be looking for a certain experience to happen to make us feel like, oh my God, yes, I made it. Da -da 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 -da. But the thing about it is, we're living, we, we're here, we have a purpose. So that's an experience within itself. We, I keep saying we need to get out of our own way. We need to tune out all of the no's that we were told and focus on all of the yeses that God has given us. We need to um, truly learn how to stand on his promises, stand on his words, stand on what we know that God is. If it wasn't meant for us to do it, God wouldn't have gave it to us. Just because somebody else don't agree with it or don't see it moving the way you see, that's okay because God gave the vision to you. So stop talking yourself out of it and just do it. Like if, just say, for instance, if my mom would have went with, okay, my daughter has cerebral palsy, She's not going to walk. That's it. We're just going to, you know, let Ed be how she is. If she went with that as her frame of mind, I wouldn't be where I am. She moved her fear out of the way, out of something that she did not understand. Understand. And she gave it to God. And now I'm here. We have to move fear out of the way. And let God do what it is that he does and be God and let him fill up in us so that we can take those steps. We walk by faith and not by sight. So that we see it, it is not going to make sense to us. But we have to trust what God is telling us. We have to trust what God is telling us. He never fails. If if my mom did not trust what God told her about her child, I would not be here in this, in this situation, being able to walk, being able to talk, being able to express myself confidently, being able to be my own advocate, being able to be a voice for people that feel like their voice is not heard. If my mom would have stood on fear of cerebral palsy, there would be no me. If I would have stood on fear of living with cerebral palsy, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be married. I wouldn't have a child. I wouldn't be doing all of the things that I'm doing if I stood on fear and if I kept standing. Not saying that I didn't because I did. If I kept standing on the nose, I wouldn't be here. So you have to stop standing on the nose and focus on God's yes. Tune yourself out. Trust God. Get tunnel vision. Get tunnel vision. If you got to, you know, tune some people out, cut some people off for a season, you got to do what you got to do so that you can get to what God has shown you. You're blocking your own. Look. you blocking your own way. Because of your fear. Of not understanding. That's why we have to go to God. And 
ask for his understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path so with that being said y'all i just want to say encourage y'all to get out of your own way tune your voices out remove fear if you don't understand it it's okay just go just take that leap and go god got you or he wouldn't have showed it to you um i have an announcement i'm going to come what's today thursday i'm going to come back on sometime friday because i have an announcement and um i'm gonna need you guys' help so i have an announcement um but until next video be blessed keep praising keep fighting keep worshiping keep standing keep tuning out the nose keep being unapologetically you speak up speak out your voice has a purpose everybody has a purpose your voice has a purpose your story has a purpose don't be afraid to share it blessings y'all